When the popular genetic testing company 23andMe filed for bankruptcy earlier this year and announced that it was for sale, privacy experts sounded the alarm. And when a drug maker moved forward with plans to buy the company, 27 states sued in federal court to block that sale. Well, now there's a new buyer. Eight on your side consumer investigator Shannon Bankin joins us in studio with that story. Jen Keith, in a new twist, a bankruptcy judge has approved the sale of 23andMe to a nonprofit. That nonprofit is led by the former CEO and co founder of 23andMe. 15 million consumers turned to genetic testing company 23andMe to learn about their ancestry and understand their disposition to diseases. The company's bankruptcy brought up serious questions about who would buy the company and its sensitive genetic data and what it could be used for. USF public health professor and attorney Jay Wolfson. There's no federal system that is going to be able to guarantee the protection of those things. Some state laws may, but this is kind of new territory. In May, when pharmaceutical company Regeneron announced it was buying 23andMe for $256 million, attorney generals in 27 states, including Florida, sued in federal court, alleging the sale would violate privacy laws in their individual states. Now, a bankruptcy judge has approved a different sale for $305 million to TTAM Research Group, led by Ann Wachiski, the former CEO and co-founder of 23andMe. She said in a press release that the nonprofit will continue the company's mission of understanding the human genome for the public good. She went on to say, quote, core to my beliefs is that individuals should be empowered to have choice and transparency with respect to their genetic data and have the opportunity to continue to learn about their ancestry and health risk as they wish. 23andMe has said the new buyer will continue the policy of allowing users to delete their account and their genetic data, as well as opt out of research if you'd like. But remind me, they had some issues with data and privacy before, didn't they? Yes, and that's what brought about a lot of these concerns, Jen. In the past, there's already been a hack. In 2023, hackers exposed the personal data of nearly 7 million 23andMe customers over a five-month period. It's unclear how that data was used, but the hack has led to this concern, and that's why many consumers have decided to delete their data on the app. All right, stay on it for us because there's more to come on this, I'm yes. sure. All right.